Hey, what's going on, chess lovers? This is Maurice Bishop Chess. So y'all know my slogan, life is a game of chess. Guys, finally, I'm back. You know what I mean? You know, um, pretty crazy. You know, um, for all y'all don't know, uh, I was gone for a minute uh, due to my annual training at Four Store Georgia. Uh, literally, like a whole month, man. It, it was very long. Uh, but even after I got back, you know, making sure my family good, spend time with them because they haven't seen me uh, for so long. So, you know, I had to take care of the family first and all, you know, um, you know, still do some of my military duties and all that, so forth and so forth. All right. So, uh, but yeah, guys, uh, annual training, man, it was um, pretty miserable, you know, outside, you know, in the heat, you know, very hot. For all y'all don't know about Georgia, especially the part where I was at, very, very hot, a lot of bugs around, you know, very miserable. But at the same time, it was actually okay because um, I wound up getting an award for, you know, supplying for the whole brigade. And I was only company level, supposed to supply everything for my company, but I wound up supplying for the whole brigade because they failed to bring the required items that they needed for the field. And therefore, I wound up getting an award. So pretty crazy if you looked at my instagram and everything for all y'all that follow me on instagram um you would have saw that uh aal army uh achievement award uh definitely very great great times all right guys so uh i am going i am off for this whole week so uh i am going to be posting uh, more videos you know i have a lot more time to um post so uh definitely going to get crazy but as of right now guys we're going to get into this game i don't want to prolong this uh, any longer uh this game right here i played against scholar stalemate you know very strong player and of course guys i had to play the l shot system yes guys i played it for white definitely crazy crazy game and i'm pretty sure for all y'all l shot system players you know you're definitely going to enjoy this game all right so uh my first move is c3 knight f6 d3 d6 h3 uh g6 and then g4 now normally guys for all y'all that watch me play the l side system normally i usually go c3 and queen a4 uh, i like to switch it up so uh i just switched it up so bishop g7 bishop g2 on um, black castle king side i go knight b to d2 e5 and then queen a4 uh obviously guys usually um I don't normally go queen a4 yet until I get knight to f1 to g uh, knight f1 to g3 and then maybe g5 h4 and h5 and then after that I can swing my queen over to h4. Um, but uh, it didn't it didn't go that way. Um, I just went queen a4. Uh, Bishop d7. You know he gets a little tempo. I go queen b3. And then my opponent played bishop c6. Now the correct move in this uh, game is actually bishop capture c6. If knight captures c6, uh, I win a pawn, you know, which is great for me. And then of course, um, I, I wouldn't even be um, afraid to go in the end game with this because I definitely have the advantage here. Uh, even if it was the other way around, guys. Uh, if I went bishop capture c6, if b capture c6, then I do have queen b7 hitting the rook. But of course, if knight d7, I will still win the pawn on c6. Again, still a very good um, advantage for me. I do have the advantage here, so um, white is perfectly fine, you know, in his position. All right. But however, guys, um, I didn't want to. I didn't take the bishop. I wanted to make it even more complicated. Uh, I'm probably not gonna, um, you know, do this again. But. Uh, you know, like e4, this is where I went. Uh, and I'm going to tell you very soon why um, e4 may not be the best move. Only due to the fact that he can break this with d5. Uh, he's not really breaking it, breaking it. But it does um, it does give him some type of advantage here. Uh, knight d7, knight f1, h6, and then knight g3. And notice, guys, um, black does have... Um, an advantage here as it says here um so um again uh i probably uh, if i ever had the position again uh, most likely i'm gonna take um like i said it's been a while since i played the l shot so you know pretty crazy but anyway knight c5 queen c2 uh knight d7 and then i go knight f3 uh knight e6 
and then bishop e3. Now, he goes b5, and I thought this was um, pretty passive. Uh, I thought maybe uh, he could have just played d5. Uh, I think d5 would have been um, a good, uh, a great move, obviously. Uh, obviously, you don't want to take this pawn because, you know, it gives them some type of freedom. You know, you're kind of opening up the position. Uh, in the L shot, you know, I like playing the, the closed position, you know, because especially for a black who don't really know how to play against the L shot, you know, they will typically in a closed position make a lot of mistakes uh, or push themselves to um, create weaknesses in their own position. And it gives me a big advantage. All right. So. Uh, d5 um he didn't play he played b5 and i castle queen side now i don't know if this castle queen side is correct but again guys i'm just taking um risk you know doing what i do here right uh a5 is played i played knight e2 the only reason why i played knight e2 because i was um uh, pretty much anticipating him to go knight f4 uh which is what i was on um, waiting for uh he goes a4 uh, in which maybe better was B4. Uh, I thought B4 was better. Um, uh, let's go back here. Knight. Okay, so still I still would have played B4. Oh, so the, not, now the engine says B4. Um, but yeah, Knight C5 was okay, but I thought B4 would have uh, gave him a little bit of edge. And as you can see, um, Black does have uh, a negative 0.8. You know, which he has some type of advantage. I thought this would have been uh, very great for um, Black. You know, not saying that White is going to be in a lost position. But again, you know, I, I think it would have gave him a little edge. But by him playing A4, you know, uh, I don't think this was the best move. Um, I go H4. Uh, he goes Knight B6. And I hit him with H5. Uh, g5 is played and I go knight g3 and because of this g5 move that he played uh, He gives me this f5 square and you're going to see why this kind of cost him uh, the whole game um, King h7 uh, I go knight f5 anyway um, You know because I was sitting in the dark square bishop he goes uh, bishop h8 and then I hit him with d4 now this will really, really cost him the game. This will really cost him the game. He took this pawn. Remind you guys, uh, with this queen on a light square or whatever, this is uh, very, very big. This is like a no-no. Like, you gotta... Black has to keep an eye out on these light squares. These light square weaknesses, you know. it's Even though the pawn is blocking, the knight is blocking it. But however, you know, white... Uh, does have an advantage uh, when it comes to this, especially after he took this pawn. Um, you see, after d4, it gave me a little bit of advantage, but after he took this pawn, it gives white a plus 3. So you already know uh, it's definitely about to go down. Uh, I go c captures d4. Uh, bishop b7 is played and because, you know, I'm hitting his light square bishop, but it doesn't really matter because this is this is about to hurt. Uh, d5 is played. d5. And then, uh, I'm telling you guys, this is what I did. I go e5. Why I go e5? Because again, guys, I told you this is a very, very dangerous spot. A very, very dangerous spot for the king. I have a nice knight on f5 that nobody is attacking right now. And then I have this nice, uh, light square, uh, weakness here. Which is, uh, crazy, guys. Very, very crazy. All right. Uh, he goes knight c4. Uh, again, this is just not a good move at his part. And as you see, I'm at a plus 20. As you can already see, uh, this is a one position for me already. Now, the move that I play, I played knight captures g5 check. Now, uh, before I go um, into this, uh, the engine said that uh, the best move already, instead of going knight capture g5, was knight e7. You know, um, the whole point of this, uh, if he decides to go, uh, I don't know, maybe King G7, uh, then I could go Knight captures G5. Uh, the whole purpose of this is, um, obviously, um, White sacrificed the Knight. If the Queen takes, then I have Queen H7 uh, checkmate, uh, which is bad. All right. Um, the other move is, uh, if the pawn takes the Knight, uh, I have this beautiful move. 
uh, A6, which is checkmate. Very, very nasty mate. Uh, curtains closed. Uh, this is just, <laughs> this is um, pretty crazy, yo. So, uh, but yeah, guys, I didn't, um, I had the idea right, uh, which I, I didn't, I didn't see like the, uh, what move to make first. Uh, I didn't play that. Uh, I just played Knight Catcher G5 right away. So, and this is pretty much what I did, guys. Um, I go Knight Catcher G5 check first. Um, after uh, he takes, then that's when I go Knight E7 check. So, I already sacked the Knight. Uh, he's already, you know, getting checked. Uh, he can't really block it with nothing because I can still take no matter what he does. Uh, I'm going to still uh, take his pieces and everything. It's nothing that he could do to stop it. Uh... Yeah, guys, even if he decides to go um, at five, I do have this uh, El Passant here. Uh, yeah, so it, it ain't really nothing he can really do um, in this position. Um, even if he decides to block, uh, this is uh, uh, E4 is check. Uh, if he does come here, uh, G6 is checkmate. Nothing that he could do. All right. But this would make this, but this would make this game even more uh, pleasing, guys. Like so crazy uh so after my knight e7 on um, check my opponent plays uh king a6 and then guys i hit him with the crazy blow guys the crazy blow man i hit him with queen g6 check now he probably like oh what you just giving up the queen what are you doing he takes i go h capture g6 with a check as you see i got this h file open you know, uh, the knight on e7 is guarding the pawn on g6. And uh, obviously the pawn, you know, he's blocked by his own pawn. So the only move he could go is king g7. And then I hit him with rook h7 checkmate. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff, guys. Very, very crazy. All right. So, um, guys, this again, this is the L-Shot system. Uh, for all y'all that, you know, that wants to know how to play more of the L-Shot system, you know, I do have the Maurice Bishop Chess University. You know, I'll have this, uh, the link below so you can actually, you know, um, learn some more stuff. Again, guys, uh, you won't just learn the L-Shot system. You'll learn the Black Lion, you know, my secret weapon opening for black, uh, L-Shot system for white and black, you know, the... Um, what is it? The wing gambit, you know, a whole bunch of openings. And then obviously, guys, some middle game stuff. And also, guys, I will be adding some more stuff into the Maurice Bishop Chess University. Uh, definitely uh, crazy uh, stuff that I'm going to be adding on there. So uh, definitely, um, I, I will let y'all know uh, when that uh, material is out and everything. Uh, but most likely, uh, once y'all get in there, y'all should get a notification as well. For all y'all that's actually enrolled in the Maurice Bishop Chess University. Alright. So, uh, again, guys, if you really like this video, definitely like, share, comment. Let me know what you think. And also, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Alright, guys. Peace.